An Introduction to Time Series A time series consists of data collected at regular time intervals. Those time intervals could be days of the week, you could have weekly data, quarterly data, you could have monthly data, annual data, or data collected every minute. The time series can then be analysed so that future forecasts can be made. Forecasting is not limited to the future. We can also use a time series to go back into the past to see what might have happened in the past. For example, atmospheric data. We could try and work out what the Earth's temperature was in the past. So tens of thousands of years before. In this example we have data collected three times every week on Wednesdays, Fridays and Saturdays. This is sales data so you have the sales figures here in pounds. This is for week one, for week two and for week three. So we have the regular collection of data at regular time intervals. So this is a time series. The data is plotted against time. Time always goes on the horizontal axis. So Wednesday, Friday and Saturday for week one and then for weeks two and three. Plot the points. So these are the points for week one, for week two, and week 3. Join the points together point to point with straight lines. Plot moving average points for this time series. For how to work out moving averages see a later video. But at this point we're just introducing time series so I'm not going to go into any great detail about what moving averages are. Draw a line of best fit or a regression line through the moving average points. Not through the time series but a line of best fit or regression line through only the moving average points. That line is specifically called the trend line. This time series shows an upward linear trend. We also have this regular predictable pattern in this time series. This is called a seasonal variation. We can use this time series to predict what will happen in the near future. So what will happen in week 4? For forecasting, extend the trend line into the future and then work out the seasonal effect for each of these three days and then from there you can do a forecast. Again, there are more detailed examples of how to do this in later videos. This is just an introduction. So data collected at regular time intervals is a time series. The data is analysed to work out any underlying trend. Trend is a long-term pattern in your data and you may find that your data is increasing or decreasing either it's a linear increase or decrease or a non-linear increase or decrease. And patterns in your time series may be of the form um, a seasonal variation which is a regular predictable pattern. You may find you have short-term variation or you have random variation. Random variation is common to most time series. A combination of trend and variation can be used to forecast. A forecast is obtained by taking the trend line value, that's from the moving averages, plus a seasonal effect calculated from residuals. This is a basic formula that you should aim to memorize. Trend and graphs. 
this graph shows an upward linear trend. This one shows a downward linear trend. Here we have an upward non-linear trend and here a downward non-linear trend. This graph shows no trend at all. In this graph we see that between 1940 and 1950 there is no trend in the data. However, from 1950 to 1980 there is an upward linear trend. Seasonal variation is a regular predictable pattern in the time series. For example, you would expect supermarket sales to be higher on Saturday and Sunday compared to the rest of the week. You would expect your electricity and gas bills to be higher during the winter season than summer. So this is what, um, uh, what you call seasonal variation. Something that you can predict will be quite regular in your um, uh, data. This jagged effect on a graph, the seasonal variation, can be removed to show any underlying trend in the data. And to do this, a moving average is calculated, and then this jagged effect on the graph here is removed, and then you will see if there is any underlying trend.